Start your engines. The Detroit Grand Prix is on its way, and tonight we're getting our first look at this year's Road Ahead. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Heather Catalo. Just hours ago, we learned this year's event will extend to Campus Marshes Park, and plans are full speed ahead. 7 News Detroit reporter Sarah Michaels met the president of the Grand Prix and a Grand Prix driver at the race finish line. the primaries now. This has been my fourth year at, in Detroit racing. IndyCar driver Scott McLaughlin is no stranger to racing through downtown Detroit. In just four weeks, he'll be doing it again at the 2024 Detroit Grand Prix, which following the success of the NFL draft is promised to be the biggest and best Grand Prix yet in downtown Detroit. The fact that we're doing 190, 195 mile an hour, like through concrete walls, you know, that's, there's a lot of risk involved there. Um, and, and, you know, obviously the undulations and going up and down around around the streets of Detroit. It's, it's a lot of fun. We're also going to expand the footprint. So we're going to move, kind of like the draft did, up Woodward toward Campus Martius. So we're going to program Woodward to Campus Martius and expand where we have displays and fan, fan activations. President of the Grand Prix, Michael Montry, tells me blocking off any roads north of Jefferson Avenue for the event won't happen until May 17th. But now, four weeks out, they're unveiling race partnerships. This year's Grand Prix will also be focused on strengthening connections with Detroit neighborhoods. Check it out. All of these murals at the finish line were drawn by students with the Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Michigan. This is a beautiful drawing. How long did you work on this? I have no idea. <laughs> it was weeks though. The rainbow with the cars representing, you know, Detroit going in a different direction. Local students Paris Brown and Emmanuel Henry both created their murals with one of the Grand Prix themes of sustainability in mind. And the tires in the um, the tires of the uh, Grand Prix cars, they're plant based. So I kind of incorporated that with the recycling sign. That's right. This year at the race, some of the cars will have these green tires, which are recyclable. They'll also have renewable fuel, and Penske Transportation will offset the carbon footprint of all fan travel. Last year, through the Council uh, for Responsible Sport, we're the first motorsports event in the entire world to be deemed a gold level event. And this year, they're hoping to level up sustainability even more. Racers, start your engines. The Grand Prix is officially on its way to downtown Detroit. It's just amazing. I think for me to see the passion of the city and see the amount of people that come out and the way that the, the race works with the community of Detroit is really cool. And the Detroit Grand Prix is Friday, May 31st through June 2nd. In downtown Detroit, Sarah Michaels, 7 News Detroit.